2012. Skid Row housed more than 4,000 people that used cement as their pillows in the heat from the crack of sunrise as their blankets all within a four block radius. For the past three years I've walked these streets made out of jazz notes and sewer lines, cigarette buds and marijuana stems, fish markets and defecation, police and firemen, criminals and innocent civilians on one block. I've seen torn clothes worn on old battered women sitting up against brick walls like southern home porches, laughing, cracking jokes like syringe caps on the next block. I've seen grown men sizing one another up like drug scales under the shelter of a liquor store, split personalities on each corner, I know someone by the name of Nancy, 8th grade, beautiful like concrete roses, like white clouds after rainstorms, lives on skid row but still finds reasons to dream, says in high school she wants to be an honor roll student that now she's too scared to tell her friends she is homeless but maybe then they'll be more accepting, how many times will they try to curb stomp their dreams into reality just to stay sane, I wonder what state of being they were in when reality hit. What pedestal they were on when the foundation of their legs broke like the fall of an empire, how many people did they leave behind? What compelled them to congregate to these blocks? Residency of hopeful spirits, broken dreams, demons play patty cake with their skull while God still tries to give them reasons to smile, people of Skid Row. Lining up along the LA riverbank looked like crooked grins in 2006. Skid Row was renamed as Central City East to help aid the reinvention of its hard demeanor. Shortly after, firemen from the local station petitioned to keep the name the same in fear of them losing the reputation as respected workers in a rough area. Since when has it been an official's purpose to keep a ghetto stagnant when you walk through? You see a lot of childhoods that didn't blossom angels in their own right heroes. The way they walk through this gas chamber with only the shield of dirt laying on their skin, their tongues. Play Mario go around with their lips looking for leftover pop rocks that may be stuck within their gums. These buildings hover over these adolescent spirits like parents. Scared of their broad stature, they always make sure to come home by sundown.